Excellency, thank you very much for having a time for uh, this interview. And first of all, I would like to ask about the diplomatic affairs between India and Armenia. They are uh, very intensive during the last one, two years. In the October 2021, Foreign Minister of India visited Armenia and also the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia, Minister of Defense of uh, Armenia and uh, Secretary of Security Council. They also visited to India. How do you assess the current uh, stage of uh, Armenian-India uh, relations? Uh, first of all, uh, thank you uh, for uh, giving me this opportunity uh, to talk about uh, the very uh, warm relations that we have between India and Armenia. As you know, uh, traditionally, historically, our relations have been close and very warm, uh, but we do see an upward trajectory and these relations have been galvanized since the visit of uh, external affairs minister to uh, Armenia in October 2021. And we find that now uh, there is an intensification uh, in all spheres. And as you mentioned, uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia, uh, Mr. Mirzoyan, visited uh, India in 2022. He visited again this year in 2023. We've had contacts uh, between our uh, ministries, the different ministries. We've had visits by uh, your national security advisor, Mr. Gregorian. Uh, so all, uh, from all perspectives and from uh, all angles, we can see that there has been an intensification. If you take this year itself, uh, we've had so many visits. We've had the first uh, trilateral between uh, India, Armenia and Iran at the, uh, the DG level, the director general level in April. Then we had visit by your Deputy Minister of Environment uh, for the launch of the International Big Cat Alliance. We had the visit of the Minister of Health, uh, Mrs. Avinasyan. Uh, then we had the first uh, policy planning dialogue in June. We had a very high level delegation from the National Defense College in August. And, uh, and very recently in October, we had the visit of the Minister of Territorial Administration and Infrastructure along with the Deputy Foreign Minister who attended the Global India Maritime Summit. So a lot is happening between the two countries in all the spheres. Your Excellency, all the specialists and uh, everyone in this field mentioned that we have very big unrealized potential between India and uh, Armenia. What do you think, what the steps do we need to give um, more, uh, to push the processes, to push these relations and what kind of impetus do we need to bring uh, for um, make these relations more deeper and more uh, active? Well, as I just said, our relations are indeed uh, at a very good state, but I have to admit that our economic and commercial relations are certainly uh, below potential. So both uh, our government as well as the government of Armenia, we're working towards uh, looking at how we can uh, deepen our uh, trade, our bilateral trade, which uh, stands at uh, you know below 200 million, even though there has been a threefold increase in the last three years. But even then, the figures are very low. So we on our part, for instance, uh, we keep having very various uh, business forums. So we had uh, two uh, business forums this year in April and in May. Uh, we are trying to, uh, you know, expose the Armenian market to Indian businessmen and vice versa. We're also working very closely with the Ministry of Economy and uh, Mr. Kerobian, in fact, is visiting, is going to be traveling to India uh, in about uh, 10 days time. And uh, so we're trying to galvanize these uh, contacts between our businessmen. And uh, we are also working, both the governments, towards having a direct flight. So this lack of direct connectivity definitely is a big factor in uh, not being able to realize our full potential when it comes to uh, trade. Uh, so we are both working along with the various uh, stakeholders. Uh, so this is one aspect where I think uh, we need to uh, work more and there is a lot of untapped potential. It's a very important uh, infrastructure project, uh, which is uh, going to be, I think, a game, changer, uh, a game changer for this country. 
and we already have Indian companies who are uh, who have shown interest who have bid for different uh, parts of this highway as far as the international north-south transport corridor the INSTC is concerned as you know it's a multimodal uh, transportation uh, corridor Armenia is already a member of it and has uh, shown interest and we are working with uh, all the stakeholders and all the concerned parties to see how Armenia can also uh, be included actively and uh, how uh, it could contribute to overcoming uh, the different uh, logistical challenges that you know as a landlocked country Armenia faces. So this is definitely something that we are looking at. There is, uh, there is a lot of affinity between uh, uh, the cultures of India and uh, Armenia and there is uh, so much interest uh, that I find in uh, Indian culture, in Indian movies. So we try to uh, respond to that very, uh, very large uh, demand. Uh, as you know, yoga has taken, uh, you know, deep roots over here and it's very popular. Uh, so what we do is we regularly organize the International Day of Yoga every year in the month of June. We also uh, try to have other uh, cultural activities which bring together. So recently we organized the uh, Ayurveda day. Ayurveda as you know is an ancient system of medicine. So this was organized in November on the 10th of November which happens to be just two days before our festival of Diwali and it's called Dhantanthari uh, Divas. And it uh, is a very auspicious day and it's supposed to be uh, devoted to the God uh, of Ayurveda. So that was organized and we did a film festival of uh, Satyajit Ray as you know he's the maestro of Indian cinema. Uh, he's a, a great master and we brought uh, his movies to uh, Yerevan. Uh, this was again in uh, November uh, just uh, the past uh, week actually we had this film festival. So throughout the year we uh, are constantly endeavoring to bring more and more cultural activities so that there is uh, you know we can uh, get that that interest that we find over here. As far as education is concerned, uh, we have just had uh, 15 diplomats from uh, the Armenian Foreign Service who traveled to India and they were uh, given uh, a two-week uh, training course at our diplomatic academy which is called the Sushma Swaraj Institute of Foreign Service and this was a first special course that was uh, specially curated for uh, diplomats from Armenia. In addition to that, we have 40 uh, slots, 40 uh, scholarships under our ITEC program. Now ITEC stands for India Technical and Economic Cooperation. And so this is uh, basically capacity building in different uh, areas. So both for people who work in the government as well as uh, civilians otherwise. So these are uh, different uh, programs that we bring on a regular basis for capacity building. We do find that uh, uh, many uh, Indian nationals, uh, especially in the past few months, uh, have now arrived uh, in Armenia and we also have a very large number of uh, students studying uh, medicine. So uh, our number of students would be around 3,000. Uh, and I find that uh, the Indian citizens who are here, they're like the, you know, they bring the people of the two countries closer together. Uh, and I think Indians in general have no uh, problems in integrating themselves uh, here in uh, Armenia, because as I mentioned, there's so much uh, affinity between our two cultures. And the last uh, question, uh, another conference is going uh, to take place with the Armenian, Indian and Iranian and also Georgian experts. In your opinion, how ca can such events contribute uh, to the development of Armenian-Indian uh, cooperation? We, as I mentioned in the month of April, we had the first trilateral uh, you know, discussions between India, Armenia and Iran and uh, these are uh, all three countries we share very long and uh, historical ties and also I think the contemporary situation is such that we have uh, common interests and so we are going to be uh, having this conference uh, where the three countries would be present and our uh, main focus is to uh, concentrate on connectivity and to see how uh, we can better you know promote connectivity which would solve the problems for all the three countries and make 
the connections between our countries uh, and facilitate uh, those uh, connections. So yes, I think uh, it's, it's a, a very good uh, initiative and uh, India is working with uh, our partners in Armenia and in, uh, in Iran uh, to take forward uh, this cooperation. Your Excellency, thank you very much for having the time and answering to our questions. Thank you so much for uh, having me.